So today we're going to learn about military time. Uh, basically, why do why does the military use military time instead of civilian time? Well, it's quite simple. It's clarity of orders from the command structure. So basically, if you say four in civilian world, if you say four o'clock, it could mean four in the morning or four p.m. and and in the military, the U.S. Army, you say 0400, that means 4 in the morning, definitely. But if it were going to be 4 in the afternoon, it would be 1600, because you have uh, the noon time, and you add the two hours onto it, so it's 1600. 4 plus 12, 16. So if you wanted to do one minute before midnight, it would be 2359 hours. And um, if you wanted to do like 9 p.m., it would be 2100 hours. So it's just for clarity. That's the main thing. Also, uh, there's something called a Greenwich Mean Time, which you you know in civilian life. Uh, it's all that's called Zulu time. So if a soldier says 2300 Zulu, then you're talking about 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time in uh, the UK. So, but it also translate to. So we all know we're all on the same clock all around the world. I hear you five by five. It means when a radio operator says that to his command structure, basically it means he can hear him 100%. So very clear, perfectly. I'll go over the numbers on radio numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 0. And why do we do that? It was real simple. Because if you extend the names over the radio, you can hear it. When there's crackling and interference, uh, then it causes problems, but if you say tree instead of three, uh, it's more likely that they'll understand what you're saying. And it's the standard too. So here's the phonetic alphabet, and there's a reason why we use the phonetic alphabet in the military. Uh, it's for clarity, again. I kind of like the radio transmissions. So let's go over them. Alpha, Bravo, Charlo, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Zulu. So why is it that, that they say, you know, Whiskey, Tango, Foxtrot? What does that mean? Well, it's the acronym WTF, which means what the frack, but it doesn't mean frack at the end. But basically, it's, a, it's, it's like what's going on here sort of thing in a nice way. So, okay. So in the U.S. Army, there's marksman, sharpshooter, and expert. And uh, you have to qualify as a marksman. And as a list here, right here, at, uh, you must hit at least 23 at a very minimum. And you must be a shooter to stay in the U.S. Army. You cannot go further. They will take you out of basic training, and they'll literally kick you out if you cannot shoot over time. They'll give you remedial training, and they'll give you more chances. But at some point, you must be able to shoot at a very minimal level and honestly 23 out of 40 is is uh, actually quite pitiful to me um, you know it's 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 you know it's you could do it with one eye closed all the time no problem so but there there you do change positions and some of them are at 300 meters which is far away but you can still hit them I don't know so If you liked what you see, hit the subscribe button or share. Thank you. This has been Immersus Tech.